Hey guys, it's Jen from MyCreate Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take these plain old security cameras and turn them into Santa cams. This is so easy and so much fun to create. Now let's get started. Right, crafters this is going to be very easy and simple tutorial to follow i started with these ready i cut these out they worked perfectly for my little surveillance camera or security camera and i'm going to show you really quick how to do it so i actually went into my upload right here and you may or may not have these already yours might not be the same as mine um, but i'm going to type in santa and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. So I have a whole bunch of files on here that I purchased over the years. And I'm looking for a few that say Santa Cam on it. So here's one here. There's another one. There's a whole bunch of them. There's one with antlers on it with the cute little elf top here. Um, elf cam, everything. So if you have them in, ready in design space, go ahead and use them. I'm actually going to take this one too here. I'm going to add to canvas. And if you don't have them, you can always make your own or you can buy them on design bundles or Etsy. Um, whatever is easiest for you. But I just wanted to show you this is what I have so far. So here are the ones that I saw before. Basically all I did was ungroup them. I'm actually going to get rid of this one because it's not too um, neat looking, I guess. I actually found these ones, the Santa uh, surveillance and Santa cam right here. I picked them out of these two here, but I just wanted to show you a couple different ones. So I'm going to get rid of some of these so that we can just work with one of them to show you. So unfortunately, when I bought this from Design Bundles, this is how it comes. I'm not really sure how they could sell it like that, but they did. So if it comes like this, you just have to fix it up a little bit. So I have it all selected. I'm going to go up here to ungroup and then I can individually grab each one of these. So here's the Santa cam. You can get rid of this because you have the fake security camera or the surveillance camera. So that is where I got these from. And then also the same with this, the Santa cam over here. So I'm going to get rid of this so I can show you how we can do the other part. So basically for this, all I did was just change the size. You can see a little bit here, a little bit larger. So I'm going to get rid of these. And if you don't have it, the reason I have this circle here is because this is the size, basically the size that I have for the security camera. So all I did was go here to shapes and then click on a circle and then change it to be two by two, I believe it is. Yep, two by two. So this one already came two by two. This is um, more or less just for looking at. So if you want to put, you know, elf watch on here, you can kind of judge on how big it should be. Um, so this part you don't need, um, kind of judging on here again, I might make it actually a little bit smaller and because this is a purchased file, you cannot, um, you know, curve it. I wish they would let you be able to go back in there. So if Cricut, if you're listening, that would be really awesome if they would do that. If they, if you already have something and you want to change it up a little bit, it would be really cool to be able to, you know, move it around a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, it can't, you can only make it bigger and smaller. Even if you go up here and unlock it, you really can't do much, but make it bigger and smaller than, um, before. So I'm going to leave it kind of like this. Again, it's your, how you want to design it. It doesn't have to be my size. For my size, it might fit me, but it might not fit your needs. So you always want to just watch out, you know, what kind of size you want to do it. Um, so that's basically how I did it. You could do the same thing with this reindeer. This is really cool. Um, take one of the reindeer heads here. Oh, it has an N and an E on it. So you know what? I'm not going to use that one. Just going to do an easy video tutorial today. So I'm going to take this one too, this North Pole Elf Watch. I think that's really cute. You know, your security camera's right in the middle here, so you don't need this. It's just more or less for vis to visualize it. Just want to make sure that my words are together, which they are not. I see on the bottom here, they are going to cut out all separate. So what I like to do is push attach. Now all the words, or the letters, I should say, are going to cut out um, together. You can see here they are not. Once you click it, they are all going to cut out just like this. So again, I don't need this circle. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need this, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I have a few of these Santa cams already cut out in red, so I think I might change this one to... Um, I was going to do green, so we'll just do a green again, and then we'll change this to the same color green. And so when it cuts out, it'll cut out just like that. So 
It was that simple. So now all I need to do is go ahead and cut this out and weed it out and put it onto the little fake security camera. I'm looking at the one I have now. Absolutely amazing. Really, really love it. I'll just show you the next part really quick. So all these are already attached to each other, so I don't have to worry about it. You can see down here at the bottom it says detach, which I don't want to do. I want to make sure they're all attached to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and click make it. And I will tell you, I have been using, and I ripped out the thing because everybody's always asking me, what do you use for your vinyl? So for the red that I've shown you at the beginning of um, the video for the Santa cam, I'm actually using sat satin crimson red from um, Tech Wrap Vinyl. I absolutely love Tech Wrap Vinyl. That is like my number one go-to. So if you know me, you know my channel. What do I always say, guys? I hate cricket. I mean, I love Cricut, but I hate the Cricut brand vinyl. I can't stand it. So my go-to is Tech Wrap Vinyl. If you're interested in it, it is called Satin Crimson Red from Tech Wrap Vinyl. Absolutely amazing. All I did there in the last one was just move my little um, words over a little bit more so they're not touching each other. I'm just going to use green for the first one and then this also the Satin Crimson Red for the second one. So depending on what kind of vinyl you're using here is what you're going to want to pick. I've used glitter in the past. I've used used regular uh, vinyl in the past. This one is, um, I'm going to be actually choosing this one, premium outdoor vinyl. It just cuts it out perfectly for me. So always watch out what kind of material you're using. It might be different than mine. And if I say, you know, go for the premium outdoor vinyl, it might not cut out for you and you might get mad at me. So always watch what kind of vinyl you're using. If it's HTV, if it's regular 651, you know, if it's glitter, everything cuts out differently. So you always want to make sure what you choose, but I'm going to be going ahead and choosing this premium outdoor vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my green mat. I'm going to cut out the green, I'm going to cut out the red, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply these and how cute these turn out when they are finished. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead, skip forward to this part, and I'm going to cut it out, weed it out, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I have my files all weeded out. Here's what it looks like. Santa surveillance, Santa cam, and then this elf watch one. It didn't finish. I had troubles cutting the last part of this out, so we're going to skip this one. This is what they look like. So it looks like this, have the Santa cam, just like that. And this is what they look like by themselves. And then when you have a battery in it, which I will show you, I have one battery in here because the thing that's, I don't want to say sucks, but it kind of does, because you think it would go off um, once you push the button on it, but it really doesn't. Oops, I can figure out how this goes. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. So this is what it looks like when it's on. It's flashing like this, which is really cool because it, you know, and make kids think, hey, Santa really is watching us. Um, so it's cool like that. And it has, you know, a button to push on here. You would think that it would turn it off, but it doesn't. So you actually have to take the batteries out. That's why I had the battery out. But that's what it looks like. So if you want to save the battery, just take one of them out, which is it's silly like that for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but just take the battery out and put it aside. So really quickly, I'm just going to show you how to do this. So it's just like this. Um, really nothing fancy. It just looks like this at Dollar, Gen uh, Dollar Tree. Fake security camera. And then you just want to take your files and I'm going to cut them in half here so I can get my transfer tape. So I have this transfer tape. This is a uh, Fisker, I believe, uh, transfer tape. I'll leave the link in the description below. My favorite. I love this kind so much. I'm just going to take a piece, cut it off here, and then put it onto one of the words here. So we'll do Santa first. So just like this, we'll move this side of the way. Oops. Put that on here. My A is coming off here. There we go. Put it over that. Just take your squeegee or whatever you got. And rub it on really well. And what I like to do is actually flip it upside down and then peel backwards. Because then you can see if it's coming off. So here we go. Depending on where you want to put it, this one I think I put up a little bit high, so it depends where you want to put it. And um, fortunately, I know the N is the center because you've got S, A, and T, A. So I know that the N is the center. So I'm just going to go, if I can pull this up by you guys, you can see it maybe. Um, I'm finding the middle part on here. And again, it depends on where you want to put it, how big you want your file to be, all that. So I'm just going to set it down here. And because it's like a bubble, it's kind of like a square, you got to work with the transfer tape to get your letters down. So just take your time and push down 
each and every letter. There we go. And then once you get done, you can just kind of push it. Push it however you want on here. Just like that. And then once you think you got it on, you can just pull this off carefully and reuse your transfer tape. Just like that, making sure every word or letter stays on. So there is the first part. If you have any pieces coming up, you can just use your finger and push it down. So there's the first part. You can see Santa here. And I was thinking about it before. You can also put it here. Um, you can put cam down here. You can put surveillance down here. You can put little reindeer down here. You know, whatever you want. You can really jazz this up a little bit more. Um, this is just a quick tutorial on how to show you how to do this. So I'm going to take the next one, surveillance, and do the same thing. Take my transfer tape. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera right now. There we go. Take my transfer tape, and then I like to flip it upside down, see what I'm doing. And then this has a little bit of a curve to it, so you just kind of kind of look and kind of figure out where the middle is. I believe the eye is the middle on here. So I'm going to put it where, if I can get up close to the camera here, where I have the N in there. So it's kind of all centered, just like that. So then once you get it down, just kind of slowly use your fingers. I think the S on here, oh, there we go. Unfortunately, it was a little high, so I'm going to try to push this down. you got to kind of eyeball it and see, even though it is on a curve, sometimes you can take your scissors and get in here. I'm not going to use this transfer tape again. Sometimes it'll help you. The last one I did, the SURV was way up too high, so you've got to kind of gauge where it's going. So take your time with this. We'll see how this looks. I think that's a little better. My last one was really crooked. So just use your finger, get in there, and then peel off the transfer tape slowly that you don't peel up any of your numbers, or sorry, your letters. Just like that. Oops, see the L's coming up. You just kind of push it back down again. And I don't believe you have to seal this with anything. I think since it's, you know, 651 vinyl, it's permanent, so you don't have to worry about it coming up at all. Oh yeah, that was much better. So my E is up a little high here, but that's okay. I'm just giving these away. So if you were going to sell these, you know, you want to make sure that you um, get it more in the middle. But that's how it looks. Same thing, it's going to look just like this. So once you, oh, I took the battery out of this one too. But it'll turn on and you can see it like that. So very, very simple, easy to do. You can have it say whatever you want. Yeah, so this is it. This is what it looks like. I really love how these turned out. You can use different colors. Like I said, I love Tech Wrap Vinyl. This is the red color I talked about. I'll leave it in the description below. And then this is just what the fake security camera looks like. You just got to add batteries. Really simple, easy, fun to do. You can kind of jazz it up however you want. I was thinking too, you can even put Mod Podge on here and put some glitter on it too. So I'm just thinking of different ways. Um, that you can do it. But I think this is really cool. You can have it on, you can have it off, but it's it's pretty neat to kind of just leave on your counter and be like, don't be naughty, seeing us watching. So kind of neat. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, leave me a thumbs, thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscribed already. It is December, so I'm going to be doing a ton of Christmas crafts. You don't want to miss out. Be sure to always check my channel for the community section where I leave um, coupons and discounts and when I find stuff, I post there, you know, if I find really good uh, vinyl or if Design Bundles is having a deal. So be sure to check that out too. But I hope you love this tutorial. I really love how these turned out. I hope you did too. Happy holidays, everyone, and happy crafting.